since Saturday, three people have been killed and hundreds evacuated their homes after a large ocean swell reached the Pacific coast from Mexico to Chile, with waves recorded reaching up to 10 meters high. Five people have died following dangerous storms in the Australian state of Queensland. More than 36 centimetres of rain fell when the storm hit on Friday, most of that falling in just three hours. Thursday's 4.0 magnitude, the highest ever recorded in North Texas. It was scary. Me and my son, both of our hands were shaking. We had butterflies in our stomach. The National Weather Service says at least 50 tornadoes were reported, spread across more than 460 miles from Oklahoma to Nebraska. Bridge Creek, Oklahoma, was one of the hardest hit towns. More than 1,500 homes and farms damaged or destroyed. Some places got five to eight inches of rain. For the first time ever, the National Weather Service issued that flash flood emergency for the Oklahoma City metro area. lashing the northern Philippines with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour. Forecasts call for as much as 20 inches of rain in two days. It's 
extreme weather now from the Rockies to the East Coast, making a mess for millions of people from a rare May snowfall to dangerous flooding and tornadoes in the Midwest. The first named tropical storm of the season washes ashore on the East Coast. It's unusual to have a tropical storm so early in the year. The tornado outbreak deadly already, at least five dead, and now the search for the missing tonight. Over 140 tornado reports since the outbreak began. There goes the school! There goes the school! And this was the scene in Lake City, Iowa. Sunday evening, a tornado tore through the South Central Calhoun High School while 100 people were attending an award ceremony inside. Tornado turns deadly in Cisco. One person dead, another critically hurt. Van, Texas, hit so hard by tornadoes overnight. 10 people still missing. Local reports of multiple fatalities. We're under a flash flood watch now for another system coming into Texas as if they haven't had enough rain. Flooding in Texas where the National Guard sent helicopters to airlift people from rural areas in the northern part of the state that had become inundated. That's pretty amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. The city says it started as a sinkhole, then turned into a landslide, severing underground sewer and water lines as it crumbled. Meanwhile, the Colorado foothills experienced snow in May. This winter storm and spring caused slick roads and several accidents, and in lower-lying areas, there were flash floods. Western parts of South Dakota also got snow, while the eastern part of that state experienced a tornado. This is probably okay. Let's The United States Geological Survey says a new earthquake of 7.4 magnitude has struck between Kathmandu and Mount Everest. The quake comes less than three weeks after the impoverished country was devastated by a 7.8 magnitude quake, which killed at least 8,000 people and injured more than 17,800. It was felt as far apart as New Delhi and Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. Spain is in the midst of one of the worst spring heat waves of the last decades, with temperatures reaching up to 40 degrees Celsius in the south and on the Mediterranean coast.
flooding in California overnight. Heavy rain pounding San Diego and Fresno, triggering mudslides, forcing some evacuations, and more than 20 million Americans in the path of that severe weather right now. Look at this. This is out of Los Angeles. Uh, about three quarters of an inch of rain there. That is a record setter. Matter of fact, blew out the old record by 2,000%. Smoke could be seen 10 miles away and flames roared more than 50 feet in the air and took down power lines. That was the result of lightning striking 10 battery tanks filled with oil and salt water near Benketti. We've seen several lightning strike around us, you know, just being here in the last uh, five minutes or so. Oh, there it is. Did y'all see that? Lightning that's been striking right near that area over and over again. Residents of Konya province, southern Turkey, have described their terror when a giant sinkhole suddenly appeared in a local field. Measuring 10 meters wide and 90 meters deep, the crater formed in the space of 24 hours. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Wyoming to Minnesota. 29 tornadoes in the last 24 hours. In Texas alone, 64 in the past two weeks. This tornado hitting Geronimo, a cone of powerful winds destroying this home near Elmer. Holy sh that thing is big. Oklahoma getting hit too. In Norman, torrential downpours. In 24 hours, San Angelo got the most rain it's seen in 35 years. It was waist high in Louisiana thanks to record rain. I have never seen this much rain. I've been in Shreveport for 32 years. Storm reports, we had over 170 of them. We mentioned the tornadoes, huge hail, in some cases, baseball size hail. Well, dude, we're going to take some baseballs here. Oh, Jesus! Oh! Colorado is also getting a drenching. Here in downtown Denver, the water is rising too. You can see they have totally overflowed their banks. Normally, it looks like this. And in the Rockies, a snowstorm just a month away from summer. A massive landslide triggered by heavy rains in northwest Colombia has killed at least 40 people, with authorities warning the death toll is expected to rise.
Here's the stairs to the basement. It's full to the top. Oh, it was just gushing down, and there's some places like, like where that tree is there, the water would come down and go up six feet, just go up, gosh, go up, gosh. This is supposed to be British Columbia's desert climate. <laughs> and it's, yeah, no one's ever seen anything hit this fast. It is the deadliest natural disaster in the United States this year. The flooding in Texas and Oklahoma is now blamed for at least 26 deaths. 13 people are missing. 35 trillion gallons of rain has fallen in Texas this month, enough to cover the nation's second largest state in eight inches of water. The Houston area is facing a major disaster. More than half a foot of rain pounded America's fourth largest city. The currents were strong enough to sweep homes off their foundation. The trail of damage is clear where an F1 tornado touched down Sunday morning in southwest Houston. Many of the 24 buildings that make up the Rockport apartment homes were shredded. Rivers in Austin were already overflowing from one of the city's wettest May on record. On Monday, they spilled out onto the streets. This is uh, the highest flood that we've ever had. Uh, in recorded history in the state of Texas. In Dallas, floodwaters blocked thousands of cars on a freeway for up to six hours as rainfall reached almost 18 centimeters. Rescue crews in Wimberley are searching for 12 people still missing after floodwaters swept through the small town. More than 70 homes were destroyed here with at least 1,200 more damaged. This is how tornadoes and record rainfall have left the Lone Star State. More than 1,000 homes damaged or destroyed and thousands of residents displaced. We've been in a drought for quite some time now and all of a sudden uh, we went from having not enough water to way too much. He needs to get out. He's lucky he's he got to get out. He can get out. Oh shit, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Freak tornado has ripped through a border city in northern Mexico, leaving more than a dozen people dead and many more injured. roads in New Delhi as temperatures neared 50 degrees Celsius. The heat has now claimed 1,700 lives in just one week, the highest numbers of deaths since 1995. The searing weather has left tens of thousands of people in New Delhi without power supply.